Boom. Woo. Look at that. That's nice. Okay. What's up guys, welcome back. So Genshin Impact reached out to me the other day and they were like, hey yo. Well, they didn't say that, but they were like, Sam, can you draw some of our characters? And I was like, Genshin Impact? Dude, everybody in my Discord server plays this game. I've seen the characters, they look really cool. So I was like, bet. But here's the catch, okay? We're not gonna just draw the characters. That is too plain, that is too simple. We have to make this a bit of a challenge. So I decided, I don't know why I do this. I decided we're gonna draw are Genshin characters without using undo. And for those of you guys who don't know, undo is basically like the eraser. It basically means uh, whatever you put down, you're not gonna be able to take it back. So check this out. This is a beautiful portrait. I'm gonna draw a beautiful smile on this portrait and oh no, my hand slipped. Well, normally uh, if you were able to undo, you would just, there you go, that's fixed, right? But uh, in this case, uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, come back in here, uh, do some delicate erasing. Five hours later. And then we're gonna have to put the smile down. Oh no, I screwed it up again. It's just an absolute pain in my so the first character we're gonna draw is Raiden Shogun. Raiden Shogun is the exalted ruler of the Inazuma Shogunate. With the power of lightning at her disposal, she commits herself to the solitary pursuit of eternity. I've got a reference here for this character and I'm gonna draw this character in my style without using undo. And just to make this even harder for myself, every time, oh, I, I, I'm trying to explain the rules right now and first brushstroke down, I already clicked undo by accident. So every time I do that, every time I accidentally hit undo, I'm gonna get down on the ground and do 10 push-ups. We need to make this experience as painful for me as possible. One, two, three. One hour later. Nine, ten. All right, that's 10. Let's not do that again. We're gonna, I almost did it again. I know it doesn't look anything like the character right now, but this is the foundation. You gotta trust the process, guys. Oh! Eight, nine, ten. Uh. All right, focus. I think we can get on to rendering now. What do you guys think? I don't know why I'm asking you. Like I'm shooting this video and I can't hear your thoughts. I'm really just talking to myself like a crazy person. What I like to do when I'm drawing characters that are uh, in some kind of a background is I always like to put down the colors for the background first. I've explained this before in previous videos, but this basically allows me to kind of visualize the lighting in the environment of the character Oh, oh, I just hit <laughs> undo again. Nine, Let's get some vibrant purples in the sky here. Oh yeah, look at that mountain. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna outline our character. And what I like to do when I'm rendering characters is I like to just fill in the big silhouette of our character. And then we're gonna turn on the clipping mask and just work within this shape. This is just so you don't have to worry about, you know, painting outside of the lines. For those of you who are lazy, here's a little trick, okay? You take your blur tool, you just blur the background, and now it looks like you have cinematic depth and you don't have to add in as much detail. It's perfect for those who want to run from their responsibilities. And if that's you, shame on you. All right, so she's got purple hair and uh, her entire color scheme is purple themed. And I'm doing pretty good so far. No accidental undos. Uh, maybe I'm getting used to this. Oh! Oh my God, I spoke too soon. Eight, nine, ten. Ah. Okay. We're right back at it. Hey, you guys want to see another trick? I just, I'm, I'm full of tricks today, huh? It's not even Halloween. So you want to take a multiply layer like I'm doing right here, create a clipping mask so that it doesn't go over the layer underneath, right? So you see what I'm doing? Oh, 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 one, two, again. Uh, one, two. So as I was saying, you can take this multiply layer. Look, I'm just using a round brush here and Whatever you go over, it looks like it's in shadow. I'm just erasing away this multiply layer so that this area appears like it's in light. So basically here, all the surfaces that are gonna be facing upwards, facing the light source are gonna be cast in light. So I've just duplicated the layer to show you guys that if your multiply layer is not heavy enough, you can just duplicate, play around with the opacity of that second layer and try to make it a bit darker than before. For me, when I'm done with the layer, I usually like to just merge it down. It gives me less stuff to worry about in my file. And I feel like that is too pink for her face. And I painted on the original layer, so we're gonna have to undo that one. I'm just gonna take that L. Ah, temple shop. Mm. 
Genshin has a very anime art style where the characters don't have nostrils, but I think I'll give her nostrils just so she can breathe. And the eyes are always the trickiest part and it's such a challenge trying to convert anime eyes into, I don't know, like my personal style of eyes. Very challenging, very painful, but again guys, no pain, no gain. As you know what, surprisingly, now that I'm rendering, it's not too hard to not use undo, I find. Watch me say that and just mess it up again. All right, so for the past 15 minutes, I was like, why does she look so weird? Something's not right. And then I realized I didn't give her eyebrows. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, that, that, uh, I'm so stupid. Let's add the highlight on the hair. And speaking of hair, we're gonna be doing a hair tutorial on Patreon in May. Oh, so her character design is actually pretty neat because you have this main color of purple and she's got these accent colors of gold and gold and purple are complementary colors, which means they look very good together. All right, so she's looking really good. Now I'm gonna add a bit more depth to the background and give her some rim lighting. And then through the magic of editing, I'll show you guys a finished version of this drawing. I'm just adding in some light magic effect here with a vivid light blending layer. Ooh, look at these little sparks, boom. Magic. Get some bloom on the light effect on the handle here. All right, beautiful. So I'm gonna save that right there and show you guys the finalized version right now. Boom. I don't really wanna stop right there though. I wanna draw another character and this time we're gonna draw a man. This is Zhong Li. Zhong Li is a mysterious consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. He is handsome, elegant, and surpassingly learned. Though nobody knows where Zhong Li is from, he is a master of courtesy and rules. Apparently he has a lot of, uh, simps, so I had to choose him for my audience. So I gotta make him look extra beautiful, because if I don't, I feel like his fans will come after me. All right, nice, so we gave him an anime nose. We're on the right track here. And I'm gonna try my best to make it through this entire drawing without accidentally hitting undo even once. That'll be a challenge, because I, I really don't wanna do any more push-ups, guys. All right, so he's got really cool looking hair, and I think we have to capture that. That's like a part of his personality. Now let's make the background gold, not like gold gold, but kind of like a turd. Oh, okay. I messed up guys. I painted the airbrush on my line art layer. I can't, I can't. There's no way for me to get through this without using undo. So we're going to have to undo and then undo. That's two undos. Oh my God. 20 pushups. 18, 19, 20. Oh. <sighs> We're gonna do what we did before. We're gonna outline our character here, get the silhouette down, and catch my breath. So Zhong Li here seems to have a very stoic personality, which is why I chose the crossed arms pose for him. He seems to me like the type that doesn't really need to say much. All right, so now that we have the basic colors down, we gotta add in the shadows. That looks good. Ooh, what about a dark background? That's even more dramatic. And then we can give him rim lighting. Ooh, ooh, exciting. You know what the real fun part is? Giving this man blush. <laughs> okay, that's a bit too much. Just kidding, that wasn't the real fun part. This is the real fun part. Look at that subsurface scattering. Oh. What's Zhong Li's background? I mean, he has a Chinese name, so I'm assuming he's Chinese. And in that case, I'm gonna make my brother proud. I'm giving him some strong jaw muscles, strong cheek structure. Boy, I wish I could look like that. So in the game, these guys don't really have pupils. I'm gonna give them pupils because it, the pupils make a character a little bit more relatable. Like imagine you're in an elevator and somebody walks in and they don't have pupils. You'd be a, you'd be a little bit scared.
All right, so I think the face and the hair and everything is looking pretty good. Uh, probably add a little bit more detail as we go along, but um, I wanna move down to the clothing and some of the uh, little details of the costumes. He's got this really cool earring, which is kind of like an iconic feature here. I'm gonna try to make this look shiny. Ooh, look at that, look at that. It's a little sword piece. Beautiful, looking good. I'm gonna add some line art onto the costume here. He's got a lot of stuff going on on his costume. Oh my goodness, he's got so much detail in his design. He's got this collar that kind of comes up. I like the shape of this collar and the uh, contrasting black and white colors here. Almost looks like the, the pattern on an orca. You can see these big shoulder pads with a really pronounced angle at the tip. This gives him a really nice silhouette. And he has black gloves, which make my job so much easier. <laughs> I don't have to detail the fingers. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna finish up some of the details on the face here and I'll show you guys the finalized version. You gotta get his orange highlights on the hair. And some natural highlights here. Boom, ooh, look at that, that's nice. I just hit undo by accident. We couldn't finish strong. <laughs> I'm gonna give him some sparkles. Sam does sparkly men. Now you guys see, because of the color of his hair, the character starts to kind of merge into the background. And generally, we don't want that. So um, I'm gonna add some rim light to the character to make him pop. You know, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. It could be uh, really simple. maybe a little bit more on the top of the head. Now see what the rim light does is without the rim light, look at how the character blends into the background. See, that's without the rim light. Now you turn that rim light on, boom, character starts to pop. That's exactly the effect that we want. And here is our finished piece for Joan Lee. I really like how these turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the process. And once again, thank you to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Genshin Impact Creator Program YouTube Season 1 is coming now. Be sure to click the link down below to attend this event and win multiple awards. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for more content just like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>